Happy Thanksgiving, America. I'm Donna, and I'm here with my friends to tell you the real history behind this holiday. Growing up, I knew that what they told you in school about Thanksgiving wasn't true. That's not the true story. The true story behind Thanksgiving was after every killing of a whole village, these European settlers celebrated it, and they called it Thanksgiving. But it wasn't until Abraham Lincoln became president that it became an official holiday. He ordered 38 Dakota men to be hung for war crimes. After the sacred holiday Christmas. We take this time to remember our elders who lost their lives due to what really happened. Usually my mom makes a Native American dish for us and we pray. Growing up I would be kind of annoyed that they didn't know what actually happened on Thanksgiving and that they're actually celebrating the deaths of many people and many tribes that were lost. Whether it's to give thanks or to be with your family, you should learn how the holiday was established in the first place. I'm thankful for being born indigenous to this continent. I'm thankful that I still have my culture. I'm thankful that my elders kept our culture alive all these years. I'm thankful to be indigenous, resilient, and alive. I'm thankful for us all to be able to stand together, stand strong, and stand this one. Happy Thanksgiving, America. My people chose it, uh, same blood like it's Moses. We the people that walk through that ocean. We the people the most I done chosen. We got a key to go Miami's here. Got all them ships and we landed here. Cause we got curse from the man upstairs. We don't put faith on the man over here. Only put faith on the most I. I'm from the city with most that. Do the run in me 28, oh my. We got a love on each other. Our sisters and brother, he cook, I'm in no time. Most I let me up when it's showtime. I pray have mercy upon mine. Don't want to be around when it go down. Chosen ones, 12 tries, we gon' overcome. Babylon, know it's overdone. Look what they did to the chosen one. Keep the commandments for real. Stick together, cause it's about to get real. Love each other, I don't care how you feel. Forget your brother, you could die, go to hell. Shalom. My people, we the chosen of God. We're supposed to have each other back. Let's come together, everybody be flexing. Ain't nobody out finessing. Start showing love, then we all gon' be blessed. We as one nation, don't throw up no sense. I'm showing that love from the east to the west. So helping each other, then we will not stress. Uh, my people don't know that they chose it, uh, my people don't know that they're special, uh, gotta elevate to other levels, uh, we got a ball like we the rose, uh, my people don't know that they chose it, uh, my people don't know that they're special, uh, gotta elevate to other levels, uh, we got a ball like we the rose, uh, get the back King Walker. Shalom. Uh, first thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor is due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone and rule well. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. Noise in the gospel, brother, from the standard of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Uh, this is just a quick lesson through the spirit uh, that the brother uploaded. Uh, this is a six Gadite women that went around the table to uh, explain how, you know, this indigenous land which actually belonged to the northern tribes uh we can read about that in second edges 13th chapter when the 10 tribes came over here after the assyrian captivity to keep the commandments and to worship yahweh by shimmy and um you know fast forward years down the line you had um uh, the spanish inquisition and then also you had the voyage of columbus to the americas which he've never discovered north america Okay, I think he docked in what they call Hispaniola, which is known as the island of Dominican Republic in Haiti. Um, but they're basically giving the account of Thanksgiving on how it was established through blood and massacre. Okay, and how the average Negro Latino today, they don't really understand that the shrouded roots of this holiday is shrouded in the death of Israelites, man. 
Okay, like today you got a bunch of niggas that's gonna sit around the table, you know what I'm saying, and they're gonna give reasons as to why they're thankful. Okay, but for one thing, the only thing you can thank the most high in this place is for putting us in this situation and waking us up to our true heritage, man. Okay, even though that's a hard pill to swallow, that's nothing grateful to, or to be thankful about being in captivity and slavery. But the lessons we've learned as men of the Lord, you know, that's a, a, a good enough reason to thank you, how about Shemiah was shy, because this is through the tender mercies that we got our heritage back, that we have the understanding and wisdom of this truth. Okay, but the key component was when they flipped the table over after the video went in, they flipped the table because all this is just a feast day until us being taken down. Same thing with Christmas, same thing with Thanksgiving, same thing with uh, 4th of July. All these holidays in some form or fashion has something to do with the direct conquering of Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay, St. Valentine's Day Massacre, you got fucking Halloween, you got uh, 4th of July, all these things, man. Okay, so, hey, if you in the spirit, you won't be partaking in this madness because this is complete madness, man. You know, this is, this. only thing I like about today is having a day off. I ain't got to go be bothered with nobody. But other than that, man, we don't really give a damn because it ain't, it ain't nothing to it. Okay, so this is an article uh, that I got. It's from the Ohio State University, osu.edu. It says, Columbus, a brave exploration or disaster for natives. Okay, so it says another achievement that Columbus is awarded is the spread of Christianity, more specifically, the spread of Catholicism, which these two go hand in hand. Okay, Christianity is basically like a daughter of the Catholic Church. Okay, because mainstream Christianity comes out of the Catholic Church, the Roman Catholic Church. Okay, this is not traditional Christianity that we ourselves once uh, uh, believed in. Okay, which the real Christians is the Israelites. Okay, the doctrine that we have, that's the real Christianity. Okay, because Christian just means anointed one. Okay, or Mashiachian, which means the anointed ones. That's all it is. It says, more specifically, the spread of Catholicism. It says, coming from a religious nation, King Ferdinand and Queen Elizabeth uh, were in full support of the spread of Catholicism. It says, many Catholic head figures, including Pope Leo VIII, no, the 13th Slovakia, Praise Columbus for bringing the truth to the natives, which that's not truth. It says, although the spread of religion can be seen as a good thing, his actions were harmful towards the indigenous peoples. Columbus forced the natives to convert to Christianity and began practicing his new religions against their desires. Because the natives at a point in time knew that they were Israelites. And this is why, uh, matter of fact, uh, matter of fact, let's go here real quick. Um, Native American garbs. Native American garments, right? And when you look at our garments, these represent Israelite garments. These are the, I mean, when you look at what we wear, it's similar to what we wear when we're teaching. Okay, these would be considered like ponchos and so forth. But I mean, if you look at it closely, this represents the, the garments that we wore in the ancient world, man. Okay, now they don't have the fringes on the bottom of it, but nonetheless, she has fringes on her breastplate. You know, got the headbands, got the colorful, uh, 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 what do you call, uh, garments. You know, fringes, border blue fringes. See, look. Guys, people wear fringes with the ribbon of blue around it. Come on, man. You can't tell me that this ain't Israelites. But you guys simple-minded niggas. Oh, boy, them ain't Israelites. Them Amerigooks. They too light, man. Shut your dumb ass up. These are Israelites, man. Look how dark he is. Okay? It don't matter about the skin complexion. But you got jigs that get in their feelings over this stuff, man. And when you look at Mexican guards, because Mexicans are Native Americans, too. They're native to this land. That's all it means. But look, the fringes and the borders are blue. Mexican guard. Let's 
traditional Mexican garments. And it's going to look similar to what, see? Ponchos. It looks similar to what the Native Americans wore. The ponchos got the fringes on it. Got the colors. And when you try to tell these idiots this, they still deny it. When you compare Hebrew Israelite garments to like Mexican garments and Native American garments, they still don't put two and two together like, oh, well, this is where your tradition come from. Oh, no, I'm a Mexican. I'm Mexican. I'm Mexican. All right, come on, man. Jake is lost. But anyway. No, it's the wrong article. Uh. Here we go. Yep, Salakia. But anyway, it says uh, Columbus forced the natives to convert to Christianity and began practicing this new religion against their desires because they knew it wasn't the truth. It says who to say that the natives wanted to practice Catholicism. But in order to avenge the personal gains, Columbus disregarded the interests of the natives by forcing them to practice by a foreign religion. By his toil, hundreds of thousands of mortals from a, to, from a state of blindness have been raised to common level to the human race. Reclaimed from savagery to gentleness and humanity and greatest of all by the acquisition of the blessings of which Jesus Christ is the altar. They have been recalled from destruction to eternal life. <laughs> it says the idea that Columbus did the natives a favor by bringing religion to them is what Columbus advocates to use to continue of uh, the praise of his actions. It says the natives are painted as savages that needed to be shown the truth. But this idea gives justification where it cannot be. The actions taken by Columbus cannot be justified. Right. Okay, because he basically brought them idolatry, you see, and this is why you have uh, names like Juan, Jose, you know what I'm saying, Isabella, okay, uh, Cortez, those are all Spaniard names, man, you know, uh, 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 Rodrigo or Rodriguez, you know, Carlos, those are the Israelite names, man, those are fucking Spaniard names, you know, Isabella, Christina. Which Christina really goes back into uh, anointed because when you look up the word Christina, it goes back into being anointed because Christ, Christ like or Chris or Christendom. OK, but anyway, just a couple of precepts. This is the book of Amos five and um, I started verses uh, 21. It says, I hate and I despise your feast days. I will not smell in your solemn assemblies, man. OK, and this is talking about your holidays today, even though this is going into the ancient customs. Today, the Lord is not dealing with Thanksgiving. He's not dealing with Christmas. He's not dealing with the 4th of July. But we just had last week the Feast of Hanak, Hanak which means the dedication. Okay, when we celebrated our victory upon the, the Greeks during the time of the Maccabees, we uh, we pretty much replenished and refurbished the temple. Okay, and we had eight days of, 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 of praise, man. And we were turning up and we were living merry and we enjoyed ourselves, man. Okay. Which is equivalent to your 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 bullshit ass Christmas. Well, I won't say equivalent to your Christmas, but I'm just saying like the it's it's a time of mirth and happiness. But around holiday time, you know, people are in this jolly jolly spirit. But when you look at it, it's dead, it's dry. You know, people are forcing the 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 paradigm today to go sit before their families and, and, and eat a turkey and some chitlins, man. When these people don't even vibe with each other, they don't like each other, you know. But nonetheless, man. The Lord said here, he says, I hate and I despise your feast days and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. And solemn goes into serious. OK, it says, though you offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither would I regard the peace offering from your fat beasts. So therefore, take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vows. OK, so the Lord is not dealing with this shit, man. Like you're going to have a group of Christians and a group of jakes that's going to sit before the table and they're going to give all this fake, this fake praise as to why they're thankful. Okay, but none of them niggas know that they're Israelites. And even if they do, they don't consider changing their ways and repenting from their deeds. You know, hence, this is the reason why judgment is going to rain down as waters. It says, well, let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as the mighty streams, man. It says, have you offered unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness 40 years, O house of Israel? <laughs> But ye have borne the tabernacle of your Moloch and shown your images to starve your God, which ye have made to yourself. Therefore, I will cause you to go into captivity beyond Damascus, says Yahweh, whose name is the God of hosts, man. Which the God of hosts goes into the angels. The Lord is in control of the armies of heavens, man. 
Okay, but hey, out of all this, Jake still ain't learned a lesson. That's why he said he hates your feast days. He's tired of your burnt offerings and your fat beasts. He said, Lord said, I'm tired of this shit, man. Okay, because of what, what good is it going to do? All right. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah 1, and I'm going to start at verses 14 in the King James Version. And it reads here. It says, your new moons. Matter of fact, let's start here. Verses 10. It says, hear the word of Yahweh, you rulers of Sodom, and give ear unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices to me? <laughs> he says, says the Lord, I am full of barn offerings and rams and the fat of fed beasts, and I'm delighted not in the blood of bullocks and of lambs and of he goats. It says, but when ye come to appear before me, who have required this at your hands to tread my courts? It says, bring no more vain oblation, which is a drink offering, okay? Incense and abominations, it says, incense is an abomination to me, and the new moons and Sabbaths and the calling of assemblies I cannot away with. It is iniquity, even a solemn meeting. <laughs> or it said, look, I don't want to do this because you come in before me, but yet you're not in the right spirit. Okay, people are coming and sacrificing, giving these false praises to a God that they claim to know, but they're not even worshiping your help. Okay, they're worshiping uh, uh, Samaramis, Tammuz, you know what I'm saying, Saturnalia. You know, the God of the dead, Moloch, all these gods that the Bible mentioned is basically rehashed gods in the form of Santa Claus, Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, the fertility goddess, Ishtar. These are all these particular powers of gods or deities wrapped up in modern day image by celebrating these holidays. People don't even realize when they go before that the throne to pray to the Most High, they're worshiping uh, uh, idols. You know, like on Christmas, you know, Saturnalia, Saturn worship. It's, it's wickedness, man. But it says, um, bring no more vain oblations and incest and abomination to me. The new moons and the Sabbaths, the calling of assemblies I cannot away with. It is iniquity, even a solemn meeting. But your new moons and your appointed feasts my soul hated, and they are troubling to me. I am weary of them. <laughs> and when you spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. <laughs> Yea, when we make many prayers, when you make many prayers, I will not hear you. Your hands are full of blood, man. So wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings, and before my eyes cease to do evil. Learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Okay? But Jake ain't doing that because they're too comfortable with their traditions. Okay? Uh, uh, honor me with the lips. Lips. Heart. Far from me. Isaiah 29, 13. This is uh, basically how I was quoting Isaiah, the 29th chapter. But this is the book of uh, Matthew 15. And I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah's prophecy of you saying, This people draw nigh to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their hearts is far from me. Right. They say, oh, God, we play Jehovah. Jesus, you know, they claim to have a biblical based religion, but yet look at the shit they're doing. But in vain, they do worship me, teaching for doctrines and the commandments of men. And that's all these holidays are, man. Thanksgiving, New Year's Eve, your birthday. OK, Fourth of July, Christmas, Halloween, Mother's Day, Father's Day. You know what I'm saying? Easter, St. Valentine's Day, all this other shit, man. You know, but anyway, I'm going to end it there. Just a little insight on this. Giving all praises and glory and honor that is due to you. How about you? How about you? And with that, Lord's will you edify it into the next lesson. Shalom.